CNN. As Barack Obama campaigns around the country, he shows particular strength among young people, African Americans, and liberal Democrats. So it's interesting to meet one of Obama's newest Massachusetts supporters. He is 69 years old, white, and Republican. Political reporter Allison King has our cover story. I became actively involved in the Republican Party here in Massachusetts in the in the late 60s. In Massachusetts politics, Tom Tramarco is most recently associated with the Romney administration, where he served as Secretary of Administration and Finance during Governor Mitt Romney's fourth and last year in office. Tramarco also served as Deputy Treasurer under Republican Treasurer Joe Malone, and he was even the Republican candidate for Congress back in 1980 and 82, losing to Democrat Nick Mavrulis. Last year, when Mitt Romney announced he was running for president, Tramarco was right on board. I went up to New Hampshire uh, the four days before the primary, did some door-to-door -door and phone calling. So Super Tuesday comes and goes. Yep. Governor Romney drops out of the race. Yes. You are now a man without a candidate. That is correct. I mean, the obvious person was to go with McCain. Yes, but the Iraq war is a big issue with me. So Tramarco found himself turning to a candidate he never imagined he would have connected with. Somebody recommended that I read Barack Obama's book, Dreams from My Father. So I went out and bought it and read it, and it read like a novel. It was a fascinating story. I was engrossed by it, and I was so tremendously impressed by the author. Tramarco is now an official Obamacan, as Republicans for Obama are called. You know what the Republican National Committee is quick to come out and say, that Obama has the most liberal voting record in the Senate. I can't justify this on philosophical grounds. I'm clearly right of center. And I understand there are going to be many issues that I'll disagree with him about. But his commitment to change the direction in Iraq and his avowed commitment to change the way we speak to each other and to stop Stop playing out of Carl Rove's playbook. Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton play out of Carl Rove's playbook. They differ on policies. I'm not saying they have the same policy, but political philosophies, it's the same. You, you have a political enemy, kneecap him, destroy him, say whatever it is, tear him down. This has not been an easy decision for Tramarco, who, 40 years ago, as a recent law school graduate, went to work for John Volpe, a former Republican governor of Massachusetts who was transportation secretary in the Nixon administration. Ironically, Mitt Romney's father, George, a good friend of Volpe's, was serving as secretary of housing and urban development, and Tramarco had a front row seat to those turbulent years of political history. They both hated the the palace guard around Richard Nixon. They had a great uh, regard and respect for Nixon, but they really hauled him in an Ehrlich man. Uh, that when they would see either Romney or Volpe coming, they would they would cringe. It was it was really very interesting. Tramarco considers himself a moderate Republican, and he is deeply troubled by the hard right turn he feels many in the GOP have taken. I was a Volpe Republican. I was a Elliot Richardson, an Ed Brooke Republican. These people were heroes to me. Frank Sargent. I mean, these were. These were great statesmen. They were good politicians. They were good public servants. And, oh, it was so easy for me. What kind of reception has this gotten from your Republican friends? Mixed. <laughs> Very mixed. I mean, you know, when you get involved in politics, it is a team sport. And, and uh, I know a lot of my friends can't believe I'm... I'm abandoning the team, or I'm leaving the team. And it's sort of this blind loyalty that you must have. Tremarco says he is not abandoning the Republican Party, just supporting the candidate who he feels is the best person for the job. Allison King, NECN, Boston.